the role of an artist is to reflect time. And I believe that. I strongly believe that. I'm constantly looking for ways to create imagery that really makes people think. There you go, that's it. That's it, good. Photographer Conrado Mulek and muralist Mia Duval are keepers of history. I feel obligated as an artist to go out and reflect what is happening right now. Following in the path of Gordon Parks and Romar Bearden. The current conversation is Black Lives Matter. I want people to understand that black lives do matter and they matter in a myriad of ways. Documenting black and brown people as they protest and march in the nation's capital. Conrado captures them through the lens of his camera. I know when I see a great image, you know, like a great moment that just connects. I remember seeing um, this gentleman here with his bike and the flag um, wrapped around him with a chain. So as soon as I saw the flag upside down and, and this gentleman riding down the street, I knew I had to capture that. To me, that represented so much to what's happening right now in America. Conrado's black and white photo was so powerful, another artist asked for his permission to paint it on the wall of the Atlas Performing Arts Center in Northeast DC. Someone once told me that in order to be relevant, you have to be visible. Mia Duval uses the city landscape as her canvas to paint her colorful panoramic murals of freedom fighters and change makers in D.C. Icons Duval memorialized in this mural she created at Busboys and Poets in her native Anacostia. In this particular piece, we've got like Mayor Berry, you know, Mayor for Life, Ward 8, Frederick Douglass, Ophelia Egypt, and Calvin and Wilhelmina Rollard, you know, who we're activists. So what I want is every time you come back, I want you to see something that you didn't see before that just kind of like furthers your thinking. So in all the work that I do, that's super important to me. It's just like, how can you further the conversation without just kind of like putting it in people's face? But it's not avant-garde art. So it's not just art for art's sake. It's art with a purpose, it's art with a narrative and a meaning. Far more than paint on canvas or images in a camera. I feel right now it's like super important for artists to, to continue to do this work. This art is a calling to represent, elevate, and preserve the lives of black and brown people who are marching for change.